We want to dig deeper now into the recent spike in cases. We're joined by Dr. Ali Hassoun, an infectious disease specialist at Huntsville Hospital. Thanks for coming on the show tonight. Thank you for having me. Now, as Dr. Hassoun, we know the percentage now of people testing positive in Madison County is double the national average. And how concerning is that? It is uh, extremely concerning. You know, we definitely, over the last two weeks, we've seen significant increase. And, you know, um, the unfortunate part, um, there is n no yet plan to reduce that. So we definitely going to see more and more increase. We're going to need to do something to reduce this uh, case uh, spike. Otherwise, it will be a significant problem for the health system and for the community. It will be a really, really major issue. Dr. Hussein, we know wearing a mask can help keep the virus from spreading. As we experience this spike, do you think a face mask policy is needed? I think so at the moment with the prevalence coming up significantly with the spike of that. And I heard your guess about they cannot enforce it. Um, and, you know, I think part of it then it should be implemented to stores, supermarkets, restaurants. They can enforce that as such. Everybody get into a close space in close contact. They're going to need to implement that and enforce it because there are already some, uh, you know, for example, uh, some supermarkets enforcing that. It might be part of this going to be like this if the police cannot enforce it. Any gathering more than 10 is going to need an enforcement of um, mask. So that will reduce the burden on the police, but at the same time, we can enforce that part. But I can tell you, again and again, we've said mask is a part of the equation. We need to think about physical distancing. You know, restaurant occupancy is going to need to be 50%. Those getting into any workplaces going to need to be cut down if possible and think about working from home. Separate desk. If you're in a, you know, I'm hearing if you go to a hair salon and stuff, you're going to need to enforce masks, but enforce also numbers of those getting in. We need to rethink the process of how we do this. Otherwise, we're really going to have major, major issue. And you don't think we need to go as far as reinstating a stay-at-home order, do you? So, and I can tell you, this is unfortunately going to probably end up happening if we're not following these simple rules. The simple rules we always say, if you're sick, stay at home. If you get exposed, at least quarantine yourself, get your doctor, check you. If you go out and you cannot keep physical distance and wear the mask, these are very simple things. If you don't follow it, I think the only way to cut down on this is going to be a lockdown and reset the clock again. And that's going to take another two, four weeks um, to be able to cut down on cases. The Alabama Department of Public Health told me that the number of asymptomatic people who are dying from the virus across the state of Alabama is also up. What is the takeaway from this? Um, you know, this is part of the... Uh, where we see as cases increase, whether symptomatic, even the younger population now getting admitted to the hospital. And what's happening, some of them is really healthy. They don't have any health issues. I know the CDC talk about those with comorbidities and elderly, but we definitely have seen a shift. The trend has shifted into younger population. It might not be a big numbers, but at least about... 10% uh, of those who's young and get sick and hospitalized, we're seeing them really, really sick, intubated, on the machine, stay in the hospital too long. And that risk damage brain, lung, heart, kidneys. And I can tell you, with all this, it's even if they recover, there is what, like a PTSD and anxiety happen with coronavirus effect on those hospitalized. It's a lot of after effect that people unfortunately I don't know how they miss that and they still don't understand um, you know the really the effect on the population yeah you make a good point and and you know you must feel the frustration out there health officials have been changing their recommendations since the beginning I mean the US Surgeon General said back in March that masks don't help and now they're vitally important so we know you work with other health officials all day what else do we know now that's different compared to when this pandemic started you know, one thing, Dan, is a lot of things is evolving, changing. 
So there is an, always a new data, new information, but also the recommendation changes according to what we call the prevalence and the incidence of the cases. So what we have in Madison County in March and April, it's completely different recommendation from what we have now. That's why a shift in the recommendation always. Now, in addition to, you know, what we talk about masking, it's testing. You know, we keep saying we need more tests available. And that's essential because we still, now it's almost six months in this outbreak, three months in the pandemic or more, we really don't have enough availability of testing to track and get to know these p uh, patient earlier in the disease, track them, trace them, and reduce transmission. Dr. Hassoud, early on, we referred to the case as a novel virus, meaning that it was a coronavirus that we hadn't seen before. At that point, scientists and researchers were saying that there was still much that we didn't understand about the coronavirus. Is that still the case, or do we still have more to learn about this virus? So we probably know um, probably 50% and 60%. There is probably another 40% we don't know a lot about. Um, you know, part of it is, do we know how, how long these patients who get infected will be immune to it? Are we able to, in six months from now, will be able to control it better? Um, is there gonna be any treatment better than what we have at the moment? There's, you know, so we have better understanding, but we really still don't have a lot of answers uh, when patients come to the hospital. Dr. Ali Hassoun, stay with us.